Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. I'm going to start with you first, then we'll get more into the reading here. See what comes up for you in regards to love. Please only take what fits and resonates for you. And whatever doesn't, just leave it on out. It may be a message for someone else. Only take what fits for you, okay? And thank you for being here and let's get right into it. Here we go. Starting with you. Starting with Sagittarius. Here we go. Knight of Cups. Okay, so we have a love offer here. This is all about romance, new beginnings, a fresh start for you. Sagittarius and oh my goodness. Okay, it looks bright here. There's happiness. There's someone here who wants to spend a lot of time with you. There's someone here who wants a shot, a chance with you. This is something that makes them feel happy, makes them feel excited. Okay, this person is really coming in ready. There's a lot that they want to talk to you about. They want to be clear about here. Okay, this person isn't this. Okay, <laughs> so it feels like you are also trying to be very clever, very smart here when it comes to this person coming in, because I feel like this person is really good. Like this person is you find them attractive. This person says all the right things. This person also makes you happy, uh, but it definitely feels like a fresh start here. But there's a lot that you may feel you want to get clear first. You want to be straight up. You want to be honest. You want to be direct here when it comes to this new beginning My my goodness. Okay. There's a lot of sexual tension, sexual energy here, an intense bond attraction between the two of you. I feel like the two of you are going to make a choice together to move forward here, uh, to take this to the next level, even if it's just making it official. All right. So you have Gemini here, Aquarius and Libra. feels like you guys just love spending time together just being in each other's presence like you can't help it okay what else there it is okay so you have the king of wands so this person definitely has their eyes set on you they also have a lot that they're planning when it comes to building a future with you okay this person's very serious here very positive. They feel like you inspire them. You motivate them. They love what you do. They love your, your, like your free spirit, like how you, um, what you strive for, you succeed in, like you just go for it. And they really admire that. Like it makes this person want to step up. Okay, this person definitely wants a relationship here. There's a little bit of mixed signals and confusion they feel like here. So this person may be looking into certain things here, options here, trying to be very careful, very strategic, almost tiptoeing here. Okay, this person can be really, really careful. Like, it's almost like... This person may be giving you mixed signals here and they're really good at it. Because I do feel like this person is really good at talking. This person is really good at telling you those things that you want to hear, that you need to hear. Okay. Let's see. This person definitely wants a shot here with you. but they may be giving, they, there's some confusion here. Let's see, there's like this, they're hesitant here. What's going on here? This person is stressed, worried. They have a lot going on in their mind. It's almost like they don't know what they want, yet they do know they want you and they don't want to let go. Okay, one more. So communication, movement. This person has feelings here, but again, in their mind, they're very stressed. There's a lot going on that's unclear to them. They may feel like certain things here they don't want to talk about. They don't want to get into because it is stressful. It's a stressful topic. They're very defensive on guard. Okay, let's see. 
Some of you are ready to move forward, move on from this person if your values aren't aligned. Okay, so we have someone here who may have not being honest here. Okay, we have someone who was withholding things, not telling the whole truth. We have someone here who's very jealous, very possessive, very controlling. They like to win. They like things their way but it creates stress. It creates too much stress for you. All right. I feel like you're taking back control and releasing this attachment here because it feels like you and this person have been tethered together here for quite some time. This is for those of you who've been with someone for a while who resonate with this, but it feels like you're breaking free from that. Like you are ready and focused on seeing what you need to see and not dealing with what isn't bringing you happiness because your focus is happiness, success, right? A healthy relationship where the two of you know exactly where you're headed because you chose it together. You communicated about it. Like you talked about it together. Okay. Balance here is the key. So I feel like you're healing and I feel like you're letting go of toxicity. Some of you are definitely dealing with someone who has a lot of toxic energy here. This person is not honest. This person does lie. This person will say whatever they need to do to get their way to win. It's all about that. It's all about that. And if they don't get their way, they can be very hurtful, very manipulative. They like to cut deep. Okay, let's see. My goodness. So you have Capricorn here. You have Leo here. Aries. Let's see. What else? Yeah, you're staying focused on what's important here. You are committed, but you're no longer going to give all this energy of commitment to someone who isn't giving that to you back. Exactly. If they're not coming with this, if they're not coming with real love, if they're not coming with peace and happiness, you're moving forward. You're moving on confident, determined, ready. So this is what I see for you moving ahead. Great strength. Okay. I see you really being in control here. It's like you're controlling certain things to where you're not going to, you're not even going to deal with the same old, right? You know, how certain people, they like to start arguments or they're waiting for you to say certain things so they can just create that explosion. You're not falling for those traps anymore. I feel like you've learned a lot from your relationships, especially with this person. And right now you're focused on new love. You're focused on new energy here. Someone who can provide, someone who can be attentive, someone who protects, someone who again is with you in the journey together. All right, not out to hurt you, be vindictive and will only get what they want because there is a lot of greed here. There's a lot of toxic energy here from someone for those of you who resonate with this, okay? But it feels like you're, you're letting it go, right? You're not gonna hold on to it anymore. You're taking control back and you're moving forward the right way. That's what I see for you. So you have Taurus, Leo, Cancer, Capricorn, Leo coming through strong. Okay, let's get a little bit more here. More for Sagittarius. I'm definitely seeing new love here, a new relationship. There's a lot of happiness here in your energy and strength as well. Yeah, some of you may feel stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, right? Deception, those, those tricks, those games, right? The shocking attack of that heartbreak and that pain. This is what you're cutting out. This is what you're learning from. This is what's going to make you stronger, right? To see what you need to see and to take opportunity here with that happiness, that 10 of cups. This is the path you're choosing. All right, now here comes, here comes more tricks. We have seduction, attraction, flirting, hooking up, temptation. This person may try to suck you back in. They're going to try whatever it is that they need to do to get back in your good graces, to just kind of weasel back in there. All those little, I love yous and flowers and this and that, whatever it may be. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, Whew. pay attention to the red flags. All right, pay attention to the red flags. You're being cautioned, all right? Release your 
ex. This is the time to let go. This is the time where you're clearing your energy because that beautiful energy up here for you, that 10 of cups, it's all about happiness, right? It's all about being happy, being loved, feeling that joy. A lot of releasing, a lot of cleansing, a lot of just, again, leaving it out, getting rid of the ick, getting rid of that weight, getting rid of the burden, getting rid of that stress, getting rid of those toxic patterns. Some of you, again, may be starting to see this with someone that you are dating. You feel like this person might be a player. You feel like this person is just all talk, but it's not adding up. Two here. I wish on the same star for you. I wish for love to change for the better. Someone here is still hoping and wishing. They want this to get better. They want the two of you to move forward here. But again, if it's not reciprocated, if you're not going to see what you need to see, you're not dealing with it anymore. And you shouldn't. You have too much here about uh, finding this person who's actually aligned with what it is that you both want when it comes to relationship and happiness. To be dealing with negativity. I feel like you're releasing it, Sagittarius. You're done. Single. <laughs> that was on the bottom. Okay, we have passionate. We have single and a new perspective. Absolutely. Seeing things differently here. It's like seeing the truth as well. There's a lot of passion here in these cards on this table. A lot of you are single and ready to date and ready to get back out there. You're letting go. You're moving forward. Seeing things in a whole new light here. For Sagittarius, too, please. Friendship. Feeling, feelings of love and closeness. Worries, anxiety. See, someone here is really stressed, really worried that you're getting too close, getting to know someone else here, that they've messed up, that you're moving on, you're not going to deal with them anymore. This person may also try to use friendship to get back in. Oh, let's just be friends. You don't call me. You don't talk to me. Something like that. And here we go. Dating, getting back out there. Fun, excitement, meetings, fear of dating someone new. The important thing here is to not let that fear hold you back. Just because you've been through a toxic relationship or you dealt with someone who puts you through the ringer. You take what's important from those lessons. You take what you need from those experiences. You don't let it taint your fun, your joy, your love, your new beginnings. That's what those people want. But I do feel like this person is going to try to tempt you here. But you have too much strength. You see it coming. You know what it is. You're ready for fun. You're ready for excitement. Connect with me. Yeah, there's going to be someone here that's going to love uh, getting to know you and want to connect more on a deeper level. Someone feels like they want to stay right put. They don't want to let go. They want to be tied to you. You may be feeling like you need space from this person and you're taking it. You're claiming it. Let's see. Fear, a lot of fear here. See, someone is afraid to commit. Someone is afraid to make a choice. Someone is afraid to step up. Someone is afraid to be honest, but yet they want to stay put. But again, you have your validation. You know what you need to know. And your main focus is your happiness. As it should be. Because you have a lot of that here. It's not just passion. 
that peace, that happiness, right? That being around that person, you just you just get all warm and fuzzy and, you know, very cute, very real. Commitment. Commitment is an important factor to achieve a successful relationship. Someone needs to show their commitment here. I feel like that's going to be the sole focus is commitment. Break, <laughs> breathe through the tension and break free from fear. Not letting that fear, Sagittarius, hold you back. Cool your emotions, stay in control. Keep your balance here. Keep your calm because this person, I feel like they come with a lot of BS, but keep your calm because they might like to try to get a rise out of you. It's like that way of, oh, you still care. You know, they just, those games. But you're done playing. Focus, there it is. Focus on that happiness here. Yeah, this it feels like this connection is forbidden. It feels like there's a lot of sexual energy, ten, uh, obsession, lust. Uh, there's passion here, but also certain things are warning you. Like you're starting to see certain things that aren't adding up. And it's almost like you can see where it's headed and you know you shouldn't, but it's just so tempting. And this person is so good at trying to get you to walk through that door. But it does feel like this is forbidden. Like this is, again, it's too much negative energy here. The focus here, the true focus should be on positive energy and someone who can reciprocate. Someone who is showing you the right things when they're coming forward with an offer. Let's see. All right. Sagittarius, beautiful, you have new love. Embrace an opportunity for love. Okay, this could happen in your workplace. This could happen when you're out there just having fun doing your thing. This also allows for spiritual growth. Wow, so new prospects here, new ventures here, new love for you. You had a card that said, I'm wishing on the same star as you. This is all about what you wish for. The star that you're wanting to catch, your focus, your new beginning in love. It's coming in. Just don't be afraid to catch it when it does. Okay? Keep that focus. Breathe through the tension. Cool down the emotions. Don't let this person get the best of you no matter how much they try to tempt you. Show that strength that you have within. You do have new love coming in. So that's beautiful. All right. Sag, that's what I got for you. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. Uh, hit that like. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell. And I will see you in the next one. You guys take care. I'm sending you love. Bye.